How's it going everyone, my name is Corp, and welcome to a very special video. A little bit different today, um, instead of a live commentary, which I usually do, I'm going to be doing a... Uh, this is a pre-recorded gameplay that you're seeing, and it's based on a mission that I made in Arma 3. And hopefully this will turn into a series, I hope, if people enjoy it. If you enjoy it, please let me know in the comments section. Please, please. Anyway, um, um, so yeah, this is based on a mission that I like to call SOCOM based, like, loosely based on the very popular, well, somewhat popular PlayStation exclusive games called SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs. It's supposed to replicate missions from that, or just that in general. Um, in this mission in particular, I have four squad mates, or th two, three squad mates, making a total of four in total in the squad, and I'm the leader of the squad, and I command my squad, just like in SOCOM, the game for PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3. So, what I'm doing in this mission, I'm supposed to blow up um, uh, a Zamask, I think it is. A Zamask, I don't know, it's an enemy Zamask, like, it's a car. <laughs> I'm supposed to blow up and then I wait for a helicopter to come and pick me up. Okay, so right here, I decided it would be a good idea to shoot out the light, because in Arma 3, it works like that. Um, in darkness, the AI have a harder time seeing you, even though the AI also have, um, um, whatever it's called, night vision, like I uh, just put on right now. See, right now I'm looking for an enemy, which I, I made, since I made this mission, I pretty much know where all the enemies are. Um, here I am taking out a light here. Uh, I know where all the enemies are, so there should have been an enemy, like, on the road there, but they have a patrol, and I will show you where they are on the map right now, I believe. The red mark, the red circles is a patrol, um, that's where the enemy patrol is, and then I have to get to the ordnance right there, and then I have to blow up objective one, destroy, which you can see on the bottom left, in orange right there. Move 75 meters, front. This video is a good example on how to like command your squad in Arma 3. Um, what I do is I tell them to go to certain places and go to cover, like whatnot, like I just Dutch did right there, because I know there's enemies to my right. Um, I tell them to regroup right now. Um, it's it's very helpful, but the AI is still really broken in this game. As you can see, one of my guys is going to the right, to the opposite direction where my where I am. So it, the AI is pretty broken, but they're they're gonna fix it. I know they will. They said they will. It definitely gives you the advantage when using teamwork. On the move. Three, four, weapons free. So right now, I found some enemy. I heard some enemy fire, and I I don't know where it is exactly. I just know it's coming from over here. That's why I ran over here. But I don't know where the enemy is exactly who fired those shots. So now my my teammates are coming over here, and we're on high alert. I just told them to open fire right there. So we're looking for that one guy who shot. So my teammate is firing at the enemy, and the enemy is firing at the teammate. But unfortunately, my teammate died in the process of firing at that enemy, so I go over to him and then see how he died. Not how he died, but where he died from, so I can, and then I get my team to safety, so I can kill, them, kill the enemy who killed my teammate. Move left. Solid copy. Here I save it because I am very paranoid when it comes to games like this where it's just like you start the mission and you can't save it. I save it right there just because I, I don't want to die because when you die you have to revert all the way back. I do not want to do that. So here I, I hear enemy fire and my teammates are kill I have killed the, the first rifleman who killed my teammate earlier. And there's still one more though. There's one more enemy in the area. That's why we're on patrol still. 
Right now I hear shots. Uh, one of my teammates just said contact infantry 75 meters northeast. And that's to my right right now. I'm looking straight at to where the enemy would be. Standing by. Fall back. Apparently one of my teammates got shot. I don't know where he got shot from, but I decided it would be a good idea to have him stay there and then I can um, heal him because we are all paramedics here. I probably should have mentioned the reason that we're all paramedics is because they're the only class that starts out with a suppressor on their gun. And I wanted a suppressor on my gun because it's supposed to be a stealth mission. There you can see the guy running on the hilltop. I wasn't able to get a clear shot on him. Um, he pretty much got away. He's behind the house, and I'm pretty sure one of my teammates takes him out later in the game. So we're coming up on the ordinance right now. I thought, I think it's a good idea to, like, lie here. I can, st I'm still pretty open to enemy fire. This is where the other enemy was up there. But this is where the ordinance, we need to get the C4 in order to destroy the car, which is on the other side of the city. Fall back. Copy that. Here, I pretty much just booked it out of there, out of this area. I did not want to fire on the enemy. I did not want to engage because I knew it would probably end in something bad. Move 75 meters. Right. Right here is a very prime example on uh, the AI being completely broken. Uh, here's the there's the enemy right there in the map. <laughs> you can see him. And then they take him out. I thought he was in the house, but they took him out. So anyway, this is a prime example right now on how bad the AI is right now. Um, right now I'm looking for an enemy, but the AI just cannot get to me for some reason. I don't know why. I tell him to move and then just keep saying negative. Like if you look for number three, yeah, you just said negative right there. I keep I keep telling them to come over here, but they they won't go. So my um my solution to this problem would be to select them and then have to you have to make them playable, but then select them and then play as them and then bring them over to me. That's pretty much the only way you can get teammates to go through like weird areas because their their pathfinding is pretty broken right now, especially in the cities. So here I'm gathering my team to attack the guy that I was just looking at earlier. I just made that guy repair, him, or repair himself, I made him heal himself, and then here I was looking at a guy way over there because I knew he was there, but you can also barely see, you can just barely see him standing there. He does not know where we're there. Um, so you can aim, you can see the unknown, that's, that's an enemy. If it's written red, it's an enemy. It's a rifleman. So I thought it would be a good idea to go into the house to my left, and I thought there would be a balcony on that house, in that house, but... Um, unfortunately, there was no balcony. And the window was closed, so I couldn't get any, any, any good shot on him. So here, I back up a little, and then I go for the shot. Um, you can still see him. He doesn't see us for some reason. I know it's AI, but you can't see us. So here, I go for the shot. I miss once. Like, I, it takes me a while to get, get to him, but I miss once right here, I believe. I miss that time, and then I take him out with the third shot on the dot. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to look for part two of the Adria Marina SOCOM mission, and also check out my Armor 3 Wasteland gameplay with my friend.